Can you say hello and good morning? Hi. Or hi. You say good morning? Good morning. She's looking at herself in the mirror. We just got her up and ready for the day. Happy Saturday, you guys. I'm gonna get her set up with some breakfast and then I will show you guys the things I got for our vacation. So all the clothes and also we gotta clean because I did not clean the living room and the dining room, which it's not a lot. It's just mainly tidying up and then doing the floor, but we have some tidying to do. Then we're gonna get her situated. I'm gonna do my haul. We're gonna clean the house and then we'll have that dinner. Like I'm going to cook that dish tonight that I've been talking about about all week. But yeah, so that's what our Saturday is looking like. Did you get your milk? Can you say thank you, mama? All right, you wanna watch Mickey Mouse? Remote. Mm -hmm. Remote. Remote, thank you. All right, I love you. All right, I got her situated for probably at least one episode. So I'm gonna try to do my haul real quick and then be attentive to her. So I do have these things that I'm planning on doing, but I'm also trying to spend a lot of time with Everly because this will be the first time we've been away from her this long. Like we've been away for a weekend, but a week and a half is such a long time. So I'm trying to soak in all the things with her. I'm going to keep her home majority of the week next week from daycare for that very reason. Um, with the exception of Wednesday, because I have a hair appointment and an eyelash appointment. So I won't take her those days, but I might pick her up early. Anyway, let's get started with this Haul. All right, I feel like this is a little bit harder to line out or lay out and like Dylan's because I do have so many like tops and dresses and swimsuit cover-ups. So I kind of organized everything out. So I may just do like a brief overview and then go through each one of these things individually. Over here, just have some accessories. I did get this hairpin or clip or whatever. Um, I've been wanting one and when I found it in gold, I figured I might as well get it. Then all of the earrings and jewelry and rings that I bought the other day, you'll see those pretty Pretty much every day of the cruise. I'm gonna just wear the same pieces every day. Um, I did get two new bralettes um, to wear with some of the outfits I have because you need something that's gonna be visible. So you want a cuter thing than maybe just bra straps. I also haven't gotten any new bralettes in years. Definitely much needed. These are padded, which I like because I think all the other ones I have don't have padding in them and it bunches really weird and it makes me feel uncomfortable. So it is nice knowing that there is a little bit of padding in these. Uh, they're two different styles though. So these do have just normal straps that cross and these have like a thicker lace. Then I did get two pairs of sandals, the exact same shoe but two different colors. So I have black and white. I'm honestly tempted to go and get the brown sandal just to have those three basic options. Then I have this huge pile of tops, dresses, swimsuit cover-ups. And then these were the jeans I was wearing the other day, the super high-waisted but very relaxed fit around the ankles that I was much needing because all I have is skinny jeans and apparently that's not in style anymore. She helped me pick out these shorts as well. So we got just some regular blue jean shorts and then the same type of thing in black. For whatever reason, I think these are supposed to be the exact same shorts but in different colors, but these black ones are so soft. When I tried them on, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it just does not feel like denim. These are so soft and comfortable so I'll probably grab these a lot um, and then I have this huge stack of swimsuits that I got from Cupshe so I will lay these out in just a minute so yeah that's like a overview of everything I got for our cruise I've kind of been building my collection up this whole entire semester like I got these I think like in February like right when spring stuff was coming out and then I ordered the swimsuits I think the end of March and then went and got these earlier this week so i've been trying to build up on it so i'm not spending everything at one time but let me lay out the tops and the swimsuits and dresses so you can see everything all right so here are my swimsuits laid out i do have six so almost one for every day kind of thing i didn't plan on keeping all of these which i feel like is a normal occurrence but i ordered a lot because one do not buy them very often and rarely ever wear them and i always put stuff over them just because i feel uncomfortable i don't like being open but i also haven't bought a swimsuit suit since before Everly was born. There's a whole new level of confidence after you have a kid. So I actually feel more confident even though I've gained more weight since before having her. Like I feel more confident wearing these. But I just got a bunch of different styles which is why I ordered so many. But then I liked every single one that I put on. So you'll notice I did get quite a few one pieces. 
Okay, these two are basically the same. They have like this swoop down neck and then the back, they're like pretty high, um, showing a lot of cheek, I guess is what I'm gonna say. They swoop down really low, have a string that comes up to the top. It does show a lot of booty, which I mean, again, this is an anniversary vacation we're going on. So this is the one, these two I feel the most comfortable in. I love this one because of these little scallop edges. So wherever like the seam touches your skin and normally you feel like you kind of have like a little bowl these cover that up so it just makes me feel really good really confident these are both padded so they make the girls look good and they have this string detail in the front which is super cute but both of these are kind of the same this has two straps and this one goes around the neck but this one looks really good I think this one will be more of like a lounging bikini like if we go sit outside on the deck or on the beach this is what I'll wear that will be more styled and then I did get actually two bikinis but these are both high-waisted which is why these bottoms look so big. I was actually really surprised. I've never, I've heard people talk about high-waisted and how much they're way like comfier, but I didn't realize until I put it on. This one I absolutely love. I feel like it looks really good on me. It has that scallop edge again I talked about, so the top looks really good. It's super cute. Um, this one I got to go out of my comfort zone. I ordered these bright colors that are just not normally me. It is super cute. They're all very, very comfortable. Like I am, when I tell you guys I hate swimsuit shopping, I absolutely hate it. I do not like trying them on. I always feel like they're uncomfortable, but this is like the best material I've ever had in a swimsuit. Like I said, I did get all of these swimsuits from Cupshe. They are all affordable, all very comfortable, especially for you mamas out there who might feel a little bit more reserved or, you know, you don't want to go into the mall and go shop and put swimsuits on constantly in a dressing room. Ordering these online and having them shipped to your door is so convenient. Highly recommend. I will never, like probably never buy a swimsuit any other place other than cup she so um if you have any questions of those particular swimsuits i will definitely give you a link to them if you want them so just let me know which one you liked and i will be sure to put that below i almost completely forgot to show you all these swimsuit cover-ups so i did get two one white one black so it kind of gives me any direction i want to go this one is super cute it looks really big on the rack but it does have like a cinched waist so it comes in really nice and gives you a really good figure but it looks looks like it could be a dress. So this is one of those things, like if you're wearing a swimsuit, you're having dinner on the beach, or you're gonna go to the beach afterwards, this would be a total like put together look that you can dress up even though you're wearing a swimsuit. And then I got this poncho type one that is just completely open. So you just throw it over really quick and it's breezy and you can use it to walk around on the boat or if you're just sitting out on the deck or whatever it may be. I got these, these dresses are super cute, all very flattering. This one I actually got so I could wear it at school too. So it's a little bit longer, it comes to like my calf, um, but it does cinch in with a little belt. So it's like that and has like a t-shirt top. This little pink polka dotted dress, it's kind of like a brown on here, but it is like a, uh, I don't know why I can't think of it. Is it like a mauve, mauve, whatever color? But the sleeves are super cute. They're long and flowy, and this is meant to um, hang off your shoulder. So very, very cute, very soft. I haven't worn this one yet, so I'm excited about that. This one is my favorite dress. I wore this for our family photos. So if you've noticed like my profile picture and all the photos I have of our family, this is the dress I am wearing in that. So super cute. The sleeves are very romantic and the back is actually open. So you have this big bow that ties at the top of like these ruffles and then it's just a completely open back. So it's so beautiful, so flattering and very romantic. And then, <laughs> excuse how wrinkled this one is. I have worn it and it needs to be washed. So it's been in my laundry. It is basically a cream color. It's not quite white, but it's like a cream. Um, Comes up kind of like a halter top with like to the bottom of your neck and it just flows out. So super flowy. I usually wear this with the jean jacket I got so I would probably take that as well just a very simple dress that looks really good when you're tan so but I guess let's try on all this so you can kind of see what I'm working with what are you doing that's so sweet ew don't lick the mirror that's dirty <laughs> don't do that nasty nasty I guess this is what she thinks I do with her hair <laughs> If anyone knows me, you will know that I'm extremely tender-headed, and this is a very big deal and shows how much I love my daughter. <laughs> I do not let anybody touch my hair, like ever. Yep, 
I think I look a lot better. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can try on some clothes while she's in here with me. If not, we may have to take a break. So the other day when we were shopping, you saw me wearing these jeans with a shirt. So I'm not gonna put that on again. This is the same exact type of style I had in mind. Oversized t-shirt with these high-waisted jeans. I'm not gonna put that on. The only other thing I specifically picked out for these jeans is this lacy lace detail at the top. It has a razor back. It's super like silky and flowy. So I will probably wear that like that, like tucked in to the jeans. So I'll see how I feel after trying on all the other clothes. If I'm up for it, I'll put it on, but I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. But anyway, this is the first look I have is these shorts. It's more like tight fitted stuff. Bull crop top, very loose fit. It just kind of hangs off the top. You could wear just out and it'd be flowy like this or you could like tuck it in really simply and have like a belt or something with them. And it's just like a V cut and has a decent strap. Bright yellow shirt that feels like, or that looks good with these denim shorts. Um, very flattering. It's like loose all the way around. So very good for like my tummy section. That pretty much wraps up the clothing haul that I have for our vacation. All right, you guys, it is much later. This little one just woke up from nap. I pretty much spent most of my day laying and playing. What? What's wrong? Look at that girl. She's putting on her hat that I told her to go put up. Okay, so I'm trying to pull up a picture of what this dish is supposed to look like for reference of either being totally amazing or an epic fail. But this is what we are going for today. It is a Tuscan salmon skillet. I got all the ingredients for it. I think it looks absolutely delicious. Hopefully I can replicate it. <laughs> um, and yes, I am in my PJs. I've been in my PJs all day long and I'm not getting out of them. It's Saturday, so it's meant for, you know? This is my life as a mom, Saturdays. I just wanna stay home all day and wear PJs and watch cartoons, aka Mickey Mouse with my toddler. It's great. All right, I'm gonna get all the ingredients out and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So I just had my uh, video go live and Dylan's gonna play it on the TV so Everly can see herself. Is that Everly? <laughs> Alright, I got all of my random ingredients. I really do think this is quite a simple dish to make, but Dylan offered to help me cut up all the veggies, so I got them washed, and he's gonna cut them for me, so thanks for that. And I'm gonna get started on this. delicious. I really didn't think so. She wouldn't even take a bite though. Now she's eating mac and cheese. 